boats and trucks. Alrighty, we are starting to see that sunrise and plenty of sunshine and plenty of warm temperatures. Right now, sitting in the mid 50s, 56, with a little bit of a breeze, about five miles per hour. So not too bad out there. A nice way to start the afternoon if you're lucky enough to get it out and enjoy a outdoor lunch. Because most of us sitting in the mid 50s, we're seeing one or two a little cooler. Brady at 52, Menard 53, same with Mason. So. Pretty much seeing those mid 50s across the board and the thing is, is we're going to see even warmer temperatures coming in for today for tomorrow for sunday for monday tuesday and wednesday because we are going to start to see plenty of warm air coming in from the south so highs for today are going to be sitting in the mid 60s some further south closer to i-10 sonora junction and mason could see one or two of them actually hit 70 for today because it is plenty of sun out there going to be warming us up and feeling pretty nice as well with a light breeze so a fun way to end the week especially after remember on monday when we had temperatures started in the 60s and then continued to drop well it is going to be a slow warm up for this week and into the weekend and into next week that is because like i said we are going to see a little bit of cooler air coming in from a low pressure sitting over north. That will bring some light, a little bit of a little cool down Monday morning. Not too bad, basically keeping us in those 30s before we're going to start to see lows in the 40s, highs in the 70s as this high pressure over California, Arizona, and New Mexico bringing in plenty of warm air for us for the rest of next week. All the winds coming in from the south, southwest, warming us up for the rest of the week. So for today, we're going to hit those 64s, a little bit of calm wind, plenty of sunshine, a nice day to be outside and enjoy, maybe add a light jacket for you as you go out. We are going to see another cool evening though, mid 30s, not anyone getting below freezing, which is a plus out there. And then, of course, I keep mentioning when we're going to be seeing those 70s, but we got to get through the weekend first. We don't want to rush through that because we're going to see 67 pretty much for each day here. Even with that little bit of cooler air coming in later, it is not really going to be affecting the heat of the day for you Sunday. So it was a weak cold front and it kept losing strength as it moved. It's going to be moving in closer to us, so we don't have to worry about a blast of cold air. With that, it's just pretty much going to keep us on the cool side for the beginning of your Monday, getting us back down into some of those 30s, because you can see the warmer air definitely compared to the lows. We're seeing 35, then 41, and then that 38 due to that weak cold front coming through. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's really where we're looking, looking for, is an 80 possible on Wednesday. So a very nice warm up coming next week, but there is going to be a cold front coming in behind that. So definitely want to get out and enjoy this weekend and next week as we have a nice little warm up.